Imagine if you stopped focusing on getting new customers, but you just focus on the ones you already have. I bet you, you will see revenue increase. Hi there, I'm Stacey Tischel, entrepreneur, best-selling author, and top podcaster, and the founder of The Foot Traffic Formula, where I help small business powerhouses maximize their time and multiply their profits. And if that sounds like you, make sure to hit the subscribe button and that little bell notification next to it so you're notified every time we have a new episode coming out. Getting new customers can be insanely expensive, especially if you don't even know what the cost to acquire a customer even is. So what I wanna share with you in this video today is five tips to helping you retain your current clients. Now somebody once said to me, imagine if you had never lost a customer ever. So I've been in business already 19 years. Imagine if I had kept every single new client that came to me this entire time. Wow, like this is mind blowing when you start to see how many people you are losing and how much money you are losing. So let's jump in to five top tips. Number one, stay top of mind. It's crazy how many people forget that they bought your product, your program, your service. So by staying in constant communication, maybe a reminder email that they purchased and what have they thought about it or have they used it yet or instructions on how to use it or best practices to get the best results. Whatever it is, stay top of mind and do not let them forget about you. Number two, get their opinion and their feedback. Ask for it. So imagine if two weeks after they purchased your product, you reached out to see how are they enjoying it? Do they have any questions? We do this in our dance studio and I can't tell you how many people were able to save simply because maybe they weren't liking their teacher or they wanted a different time and it wasn't working for their schedule. And we were able to help them switch that class or find the right teacher that was a good fit for their child's personality. So what can you do to get their feedback? And then even better, when you get their feedback and you actually implement or you help make that change, they are wowed by the fact that you're listening to them. People just wanna be heard. Number three, create a customer journey. Tell them what is next. I once had an amazing copywriter and I stopped using her and I hired somebody else. And when I look back at why that happened, it was just simply because I didn't know what she offered. I didn't know what I could use her for next. And if she would have just shared my next steps or that customer journey, I would have kept buying. How many people are you losing simply because they don't know what else you offer or what they should be purchasing next? If you're liking this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Now, let's go to number four. Create community around whatever it is you sell. So if you are selling something and it's just they're buying that product, they're buying that program or that service and it's all about what you're offering and not about community, the second they don't like you or the product, they're out. But if you create community around it, people have admitted to staying with a company they don't like simply because of the community they've provided. So how can you create a community worth sticking around for? And number five, surprise and delight. So I love to wow my customers to go above and beyond and over deliver. But to over deliver, you have to keep some things a secret or a surprise so they don't know it's coming. So I know a lot of times we want to stack all of the amazing amazing bonuses of why they should buy our product, program, or service. But what I want you to think about is what are some hidden bonuses that they won't know about until they join? What are some things that you can do a week in, 90 days in, that they have no idea is coming? These little wow moments going above and beyond is what is going to keep your customers sticking with you. No one talks about good businesses anymore. You have to be great, you have to be exceptional. So using these five strategies are going to help you retain. Now these five can take a while to implement. So what I want you to do today is pick one, just one where you're gonna get started and implement to start to help you retain clients. Now I wanna hear from you in the comments below which one is most appealing to you, exciting to you. Maybe you feel you can implement the fastest to get the biggest bang for your buck. Tell me below, I can't wait to see what you say. Getting new customers can be, in, in, well, <laughs> How will they buy again if they don't even remember they haven't, no, hang on, hang on, let me say it more time. Number one, stay top of mind. It, it hang on. <laughs> okay, 